Something strange is happening in the nearest star system to our own that might leave you astonished. A particular planet in this solar system, Proxima b, has been emitting some weird signals. James Webb Space Telescope, our new eye on the universe, has detected peculiar anomalies termed artificial lights that have rattled the finest minds of the space community. Welcome to Space Nomad, and today, let us get to know if we are about to find our celestial cousins with the discoveries made by JWST about Proxima b and what conditions make this planet suitable for alien life. For your information, Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our Sun, is just four light years away from us, which in interstellar terms is practically on our doorstep. The planet Proxima b, discovered in 2016, is 1.27 times the size of Earth and exists in the habitable zone of its star, meaning it is just in the right spot to have liquid water on its surface, increasing its potential to host life. Proxima b orbits just 4.5 million miles out, or about a tenth the distance Mercury is from the Sun at its closest point. As Proxima b has its orbit very close to its little red dwarf, it is likely to be locked by the tide and has a permanent night face. Proxima b registers at 0.87 on the Earth's Similarity Index. This scale measures how similar a planet is to Earth, and anything above 0.8 is considered Earth-like. So, this planet is one of the best targets to look for extraterrestrial life beyond our solar system. As mentioned previously, Proxima b is tidally locked to its star, which means one side of the planet lies in a state of perpetual darkness, while the other side is bright and too hot for life to sustain. If it is so, then how could the planet possibly be habitable? NASA suggests that the heat could be distributed via winds making the dark side potentially habitable. But heat is not enough. If life were to emerge on the far end of the planet, it would require light. From space, the most obvious sign somebody lives on Earth is the glow from the night side of our planet. Our cities emit light that shed into the cosmos, and hence artificial lights can be huge evidence of civilization on this planet. The search for city lights on habitable planets may sound speculative, but it is worth pursuing as a potential techno-signature with planned instruments. Earlier in 2019, radio signals have already been detected from the area around Proxima b. However, radio astronomers believe this was likely just interference from natural sources. So why not just directly look at planets in Proxima Centauri and see if a civilization exists there? The scientific community has high hopes from the James Webb Space Telescope. Astronomers would be looking for artificial light on this planet like LED lights we have on Earth. The team investigated whether artificial lights could be detected on the dark side of Proxima b by computing light curves from the planet and its host star. The two different scenarios we consider are artificial illumination with the same spectrum as commonly used LEDs on Earth and a narrower spectrum that leads to the same proportion of light as the total artificial illumination on Earth. If James Webb is able to detect the narrow band light that is reminiscent of LED bulbs, it will be because it is able to characterize the atmosphere of the planet. James Webb Telescope is considered powerful enough to distinguish the light waves emitted by the star from those that might be created by someone on the far dark end. Researchers at Ohio State University said that the James Webb Space Telescope can discover life on another planet within 60 hours. But there is always room for error in calculations and data interpretations. If Webb manages to discover city lights on Proxima b, NASA should consider building a bigger telescope that will trace these faint lights to learn about the continents and politics on this distant planet, and to establish truth once and for all send a space probe to Proxima b to get real pictures of the planet. The main problem is distance. Despite Proxima Centauri being the closest star to our solar system, it would still take tens of thousands of years to get there. After all, Voyager 1 space probe took about 44 years just to leave our solar system. And that's just a tiny step compared to the actual distance to the nearest star. So, we need other methods that are much faster. 
Some scientists are considering sending microprobes to Proxima Centauri b. They won't be any heavier than a sewing needle. A launch probe will deploy thousands of such probes into orbit. They will then unfold a space sail. This ultra-light material will generate thrust by harnessing the power of light. When the sail is deployed, we will focus a powerful laser beam onto it. This will accelerate the probes to about 20% of the speed of light. This will be an absolute speed record by our standards. However, it will take around 21 years for these probes to reach their target and another four years to receive the first signal from them. As much as it sounds complex, looking at the development of technology over decades, this seems very much possible. The mission to Proxima Centauri is not quite ready yet, but the technology investigations are certainly fascinating and will have an impact far beyond the goal of visiting another star. So what do you think? How soon are we going to visit our celestial cousins? Do they even exist? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Like and share this video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to watch more interesting videos.